Good evening, my name is Garrett and welcome to The Last Call. Tonight's final drink is Renee. This is a 42% ABV blend of American rye and Armagnac. That's right. So more recently, I did the review over Clearwater's Distillery's Cinnamon Whiskey, their Scandalous, which is an amazing bottle. And I'll link that up above and down below so you can check that out. But they seen that video and said, hey, we'd love to send you something. No pressure on doing a review. We think you might like it. I said, sure, I'm willing to give about anything a try. So again, full disclosure. Now I had to do some research uh, because I've never had any Armagnacs. Uh, it's actually from the Brandy family coming from Armagnac, France. It has to be kind of like a cognac situation that it can come from a very specific part of France. And the big thing that makes this different is that it's column sealed. So I've more recently been getting into a few different ryes. I'm a huge fan of things like uh, Rabbit Hole Rye and High West. They've been doing some amazing ryes in those areas. I'm a big thumbs up on those. But I was like, all right, this sounds so crazy. So I don't know what to expect, but we're gonna be trying it two different ways. First way, neat, no ice, no water. Second way, we'll add a drop of water, see what changes up. And according to them, uh, just so you guys know, this is batch number one. Bottle number 3,301. Every day, they, they do the wax seal in there, which I'm a huge fan of wax seals, but there is a commemorative, a collectible coin underneath these as well. So, don't, oh yeah, there it is. Oh, this is so cool. I hate destroying wax bottles because they're just so cool. I feel like so much work goes into wax bottles that I don't want to destroy them. Like the uh, uh, Maker's Mark and those kind of bottles. I always hate taking off the wax from them. But I, there's no other way to get into this one. And I'm having having to cut it up here. But yeah, um, I, I plan on trying to get a hold of all their bottles. I might have to order the other ones. They do a lot of interesting things. And that's why I'm giving them huge props on the channel for because I like unique bottlings. Oh, did they go glass cork on this too? I think they went glass. I think I got it all. Be very careful, I don't want any wax to fall in there. But they did. Put a little rubber gasket in there. My coin, got the copper one. Awesome. I don't wanna, again, I don't wanna get any wax on the inside here, so I'm gonna try to clean that off before putting it back on. Some got underneath. A little, little worried on that, but it is what it is. Okay, get all this out of here. That's gonna be a mess for me to clean up later. That's future Garrett's problem, not mine. Beautiful color on there. I love that color. And I love their bottled shapes. So far, I have to say, yeah, that is, that's sexy. I like that bottle top. Definitely on the color, it looks like a rye with a, but it also kind of, it's got that kind of sheen to it like a brandy does. Now, I've had a couple brandies. I'm not too familiar with them. I'm more familiar in the rye, but let's go for notes. Ooh, whoa. Okay. You get that? There's a spicy quality to that. Mmm, I'm curious where you got your rye from. Because it doesn't tell me on the back. Man, I like that. You get that beautiful spice, but it's not like... I, man, it's, it's hard to tell because of the Armagnac in here. But I don't think it's um, from MGP. It doesn't quite smell like an MGP rye, but it might be cut enough that I'm not noticing it. But it's got this beautiful herbal spiciness to it, but not quite the medicinal that a lot of MGP has. The ABV doesn't really show up, but there is a fruitiness to it too. I'm definitely getting some vanillas in there but like a dark, it's a dark fruit. Like 
plum or fig, something like that, like a dark orchard fruit. Yeah, yeah. Mm. There's something else in there too. You get the vanilla, you get spice and caramel, dark fruit. A little bit of it, you don't really get, you get to maybe a, an eighth of a percentage of an oak in there. It's very, very, like I'm acclimating to it very well. And it's such a good way because it's got this, it, it definitely blends the two together, at least on the nose. Blends it together, like it just got a, it's almost like a spicy brandy. Oh, almost, oh man, and I'm getting almost like a, a cinnamon kind of Christmas spice going on, or like a baker spice. Okay, let's go for taste. Ooh. Ooh, oh man. That finish. Mmm. It's got this beautiful fruit to it. Oh boy, hold on. I'm trying I gotta get my thoughts together because there it is it keeps evolving as you drink it. You get some spicy, a bit of oaky. This lighter fruit now. It's not quite as dark, but then it evolves into a darker fruit. It's almost like um almost orange-like. Like orange and that spice is playing well together. It then evolves back into that dark fruit note that I was getting. And it rounds out with that nice light spice. A little dry on the taste, and I'm gonna assume that's probably the, the Armagnac in that. Mmm. Almost, almost like a, like a boot quality to it, like a leather quality on the, on the feel. Like it just feels kind of dry with that, almost like a fresh, like if you got a, a fresh, um, brand new wallet, and it's a leather wallet, and you get that smell, that's how it tastes. Mmm. I love that fruit quality that's in there. It, oh man, that's really good. Part of me just, I didn't know what to expect coming into this. And that's really darn good. I love that spice that's in there. Okay. Go for a little bit of water. See what changes up. Oh, I love that. I love that. I do. Oh, that's so nice. Let's go a little bit more. There we go. That is fancy. Put your pinky out. <laughs> it took me five minutes to get the wax off it. I had to cut out some time on that because it's like, good lord, I'm spending so much time carving away at wax. <laughs> Not their fault. Okay, let's go for notes. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, the spice note is jumping out of this so well now. Oh, like caramel candied. Oh, that smells so good. <laughs> Here, the ABV does show up a little bit more on the nose. The spiciness is still there. You get that nice rice spice. You get a bit of that fruitiness, but the fruit note changed more from a dark plum or fig note to more of a lighter, almost citrus-like, like orange like an orange. But you still get that nice caramel, not as strong in the vanilla, and that spice is still there, but definitely not as strong either. Let's go for taste. Mm. 
Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Your rye dominates. The rye jumps to the front of the pack, really takes it, and the finish is much shorter. It, it, it's spicier, and it's definitely not... I, I'm... I'm, I would be willing to bet on it that it's not MGP because it's just got this beautiful spice to it with no medicinal to it. Mm. It is a little thinner, obviously. But you still get the fruit notes in there. You still get this bit of spiciness in there, that bit of oak, that bit of vanilla. The fruitiness in there is so nice. It's not complex fruitiness on the water version. Just a nice, simple fruit in there. Yeah. All right. That's nice. All right. Let's talk about market price because we all know market price is market price and it's always going to vary. You can pick this up on their website for $95, I think it is. $95? $95. Bucks. Honestly, it's pretty damn good. Um, I can definitely see this being a good kind of, you know... End of, end of the weekend, you know, end your week on a Friday night having a sip of this. Kind of relaxing. But I have to say that this is so interesting. I love unique concepts. I like unique bottlings and blending. And they did a really good job on this. If you're not, I would definitely recommend it. Even if you're not into rye, I'm, again, still stepping into there. This gives you a nice stepping point into two areas. Uh, I'm getting this beautiful fruit with that beautiful spice, and they did a good job. I think it's it's worth that at that price. Um, I would I pay a you know over a hundred you know hundred ten dollars. I'd probably pay a hundred bucks for this just because I think that that taste profile is so unique. I'll probably never find another bottle that has that in there. So it's a good um, exploration bottle for that. So yeah, there you have it, Renee. If you have any questions about the bottle itself. Let me know down in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer it. And if you have any specific spirits I should go looking for, also let me know down below. I am always on the hunt for something new and fun to try. And as always, may your last drink of the night be the best one.